Hey guys, what's up? Droth here with another Minecraft video. Um, there is just currently nobody on the server, so I'm taking this opportunity to record a video. I'm fixing my castle. It, uh... I didn't like it. I didn't like it the way it was. Um, oh, somebody joined the game. Um... I didn't like the way it was. It was I had like the floor as a slab, and it, so you were like right up here as you were walking around, and you hit your head on the lights. I just I didn't like the way the top of the castle was designed at all. I I dug it out of a mountain originally, and it just kind of ended up that way. I've already done some improvements on the outside. Uh, down so I can go out. Um, done a couple of things. I got rid of that mountain that was over here, flattened it all out so I can use it for something else. Um, and then I built this out of rebuilt this out of brick, uh, stone bricks. But I think the main bulk of the castle. I'm going to change to end stone bricks and the end stone bricks and the stone bricks look pretty good together so I think it'll be alright now how I'm gonna accomplish this is uh, it's gonna be a bit of a feat I think um, I think I'm gonna use world edit to basically just change this material to end stone bricks so we're gonna try that now and then some of this is still gonna have to come out everything on the top is gonna have to go at least one brick higher but I'm probably gonna go two bricks higher at least because what I did here was I had this lighting all set up in here and these ones come on in the day, these ones come on at night, basically. So, uh, it's always lit up in here. Somewhat. Um, I can show you how that is done. I have day-night sensors out here. Um, this one goes to a piston, so it shuts those lights off. At it's just, I think it's a sticky piston with a redstone block on it and that way when it when it senses daylight the piston pops out depowers this stretch then this one comes down to this repeater and it basically I think makes it do the opposite effect or something uh, these were different back then you couldn't click on them like you can now. So now, if you click on those, it makes all the lights light up because it senses nighttime instead of daytime. And you, the, when I built this, you couldn't do that. So uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this right now. But if you go up the stairs, you see I've taken the floor out already. So we're looking at, this is the ceiling of the floor below. No. Um, so I think I want my floor on this floor. I want it to be higher than all the redstone stuff. So, what I'm going to have to do is put it here, so that it's over top of all the redstone, st uh, redstone stuff. So I'm going to take out these uh, slabs that I had in the windows, first of all. Now, I've done some of them already. Wrong block. 
again I hit the wrong thing that's okay though so now you see what I mean with everything has to go up because these windows are going to need to go it's going to need to go here So that means everything on top of this building has to move up by one, two, three. I'm probably going to go. F well, if I want to do the lighting up here the same way I have the lighting downstairs, I'm going to have to go. Probably like six blocks higher. Well, maybe not quite six. Let's see. One, okay. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think it's going to have to go six. So what that means is I'm going to probably do new banners anyways now that there's banner patterns. There wasn't banner patterns when I built this. Um, so everything has to go up six blocks. That's going to be quite a feat. And this was only here because I was being sentimental about the fact that there was a mountain here and there was buildings on it. This was one of the original buildings, so I left it here, but I don't like it because it's not symmetrical that way. So, bye-bye. Um, now... I think I can do something like this. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that worked really well. So, I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to go out here. Whoa, that... didn't work. I don't understand why that didn't work, but it didn't work. Oh, because I need to paste it from the top corner. That's why. That's why I put it there. Uh, I don't remember how high it was, but that's fine. a little above the uh, ground and that's actually exactly what I wanted because I'm going to just come back and cut it out later. Bop. Um. Now these are all the same. They're just I'm only going to copy one of these. Did I put the second position on top of the... Okay. 
It adds these little structure blocks. I'm not really sure how to use those yet, to be honest with you. Where's your paste? It? Oh, shit. Shoot. I swore. <laughs> I apologize. There, uh, that'll work. Ah. Now, I'm going to go right here. This castle is going to look really stupid for a few minutes until I get until I get the roof put back on. Um, forty-one. 76 155 and then I'll go over here and plant myself right on top of this lantern 15 83 128 now I'm just going to do so I should fill 21, 76, 155 by 15, 83, 128. And I'm just going to go air. <laughs> and that effectively removed the entire top of the castle. And that's okay with me because it needed to go six more blocks up. So before I get into rebuilding the top, I want to do a few things. Like, for example, this castle was, as you know, in basically in a mountain inside of a a small mountain so I couldn't put windows back here because it was up against this uh, and I'm so I'm gonna remedy that situation right now I admit the castle looks pretty good from the outside but the way that it was constructed you couldn't the top of it was constructed you couldn't put glass in the windows and I like to have it all closed in um, and you're like I said hitting your head on the lanterns and I didn't like that so I mean it just and I don't I don't like I don't know if I liked it better back then or if there was just a lack of material back then obviously there was no end stone or end stone bricks back then but uh, I don't like the look of the I like the look of the bricks a lot more than I like the look of the uh, sandstone I I'm not a fan of the sandstone so <coughs> This is going to be tricky because the brush size that I use, if I if I do this the way I was thinking I was going to do it, um, I would use a brush with World Edit to just convert all of these bricks to endstone brick, um, but problem is going to be I'm going to have to do a little bit of repair work afterwards because a lot of this stuff is sandstone as well and it's going to 
be turned into bricks if I'm not really careful and I think I'm the edge of my brush is going to definitely turn some of those into bricks and I'll have to come back through and fix it but I think that's a small price to pay to have the entire castle be made out of those bricks instead of the sandstone So let's try, it never freaking fails, so let's see, mask, sandstone, okay, size, uh, let's go two, and then let's go material, and Oh, stone bricks. So what this is going to do is anytime I tap on an area, it's going to change all of the sandstone in that area to end stone bricks. But it won't do anything for the slabs. or the fences, or any of that stuff. So far it's working really well. See, I only got a few bricks there at the bottom. This is looking really a lot better already. And that's the way I'm doing this with this mask should leave everything intact as far as everything inside the castle all the redstone and all that work should be remain intact Do that so far so good I hear the kitty meows. I also want these to change. Oops, I hit the ground. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'll have to come back and fix that ground later. This is made out of something else, so... I don't know. Smooth standstone or something, I think. Um, now I'll come in here and I'll tap these. Turn these all. There's kitties in my ceiling. You know. to go downstairs and hit the floor down there I have to say I'm really impressed with world edit as far as the plugin goes um, Looking 
good, looking good. Now let's get the floor down here. Make sure we've got the whole castle converted. And as you can see, there's some spots I'm still going to have to go back and do because they weren't sandstone. But the large majority of it will be done after this. That's really a big relief to me. Okay. Look at that. Now I'll go slash tool none. And it makes my axe a regular axe again. And I think this just looks so much better already. Now I gotta take out these slabs. Oh, I missed one. So we're going to take these out. Just like I said, those aren't going to be there. All my villagers heading home for the night. Now, there's no reason I can't have windows right here now. There's no mountain here. And here as well. is going to have to be moved up. And especially because I also did not have I did not have any roof access set up for this at all either. So uh Definitely gonna have to fix that issue. So let's put these up to if I can aim. I could actually use a new mouse. I'm using a, it's an older uh, StarCraft 2 uh, Razer mouse and it was really nice when I got it. It, was, it still is. Um, I got it from a yard sale. The person had like, I think it was like five bucks on it. And I was like, um, at the time, these were going for well, over a hundred dollars, if I remember correctly, and uh, so I was like, "Yeah, sign me up for five bucks." And I kind of was like, you, "You know what you have here?" And she was like, oh, "I don't really care about it. It was my kid's, and he doesn't play games anymore, live here anymore. So uh, it's all yours for five bucks." And I was like, "Score." Let's get my floor put in. I think I can come up with a better way now that the day-night sensors work the way that they do. I don't know if I really even need the day-night sensors because I kind of almost want
them on all the time. All of them on all the time. I think if I remember correctly, I was kind of just doing that because it was a challenge. I wanted to see how to program this stuff. Back then, like I said, you could... You didn't have the day-night sensor. It was just a daylight sensor. Uh, now you can actually turn them back and forth. Touch my bricks, Enderman. See, I got stuff spawning inside my <coughs> excuse me inside my walls because I don't have light back here. too high, but <coughs> I don't have my bottom ones, they're just too high, so I can just that was unfortunate. Or keep putting them where I don't want them. I just didn't have the resources back then to do this the right way. So now I need to go one more block high and that'll be ceiling level. that stairwell a bit too. I'm not sure. Okay. So that'll be ceiling height. just to signify that's where our ceiling's going to be. Oof. OK. 
Okay, so that's where the ceiling's going to be. Now, how many did I need for this one? I went one, two, three, and the fourth block up. So now I have to go. be able to get to this lighting stuff too. one level. Oh my goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Spider in my castle. Okay, okay. I really wish that I could listen to my music while I was doing these live streams, but I don't have any way to separate the sound so it would be in the recording and then I would get sued for copyright infringement or banned. I don't want that to happen, so for now I'm just gonna have silence, but um think that if this if I earn anything off of this one of the first things that I'm gonna do is get a membership to a DRM free music uh, probably the one that I used or uh, or I'll go back to epidemic sound I used I use them for my other twitch stream um, and I was paying the the subscription fee, but uh, I was uh, unable to continue for the moment, but so this will be the actual ceiling or roof. Kind of looks a little silly having this big dead space up here. But if I want the lights to work, that's how I have to do it. I'm 
already almost as high as the original top of the castle was. The parapets and everything on there. I think that's what those are called. Flag is uh, still there, and it's almost level with the current ceiling, <laughs> the roof rather. Um, so floor there, ceiling there, roof there. Okie then. I would love to just copy and paste that ceiling with all those lights, but I don't know how it would copy. It would be the, so far the copying has been, or the cutting and pasting has been a little strange with these things. I don't know if I'm going to actually even use those. build them all. Um, it's a lot of castle for only two floors, I know. But I have it basically so that you can walk between the ceiling and the floor of each level. You know, you can fit underneath here and walk underneath here. Stupid spider. first here. Probably should do the other ceiling. Because then I'll have light. Looks like I've reached the level at which I have some lighting. Uh, looks like it's two blocks in and then lights. I assure you, I don't really know what I'm doing as far as lighting this puppy up yet. I'm going to look at what I have down there and try to copy myself in my earlier build here. I'll 
Okay. So it looks like I have them every two blocks I have a light. So it looks like here. See, I do occasionally have other people playing on my server. I do these differently so that they all just stay on all the time. <coughs> and I really like the whole turning on and off with the day and the night thing, but I also don't because You kind of want, you kind of want there to be lights on even in the daytime in this thing because uh, well, because it's still kind of dark in here and you don't want monsters spawning inside your freaking castle. Instead of using, I could use a good old fashioned switch. somebody else was around their lights would come on still in the, in the daytime and at night um, as you can see at night I have it right now it's kind of set up so that I kind of like it the way that I have it set up now during the daytime half the lights are off during the nighttime, they're all on. I kind of like that. I might, I might do that. Just gonna have to figure out how to do it. Ceiling.
think the best way <coughs> is going to be directly to the roof. Oof. I got stuck. Okay. Okay, now everything's dark. And there's a skeleton. Hi, skeleton. Set you on fire. Um. So. I want this sucker to be self-sufficient. Now, I think that's going to mean having... Day night sensor there. Daylight detector. I'm done with that for now. And obviously, it's currently going to be off. So. Dust. Hmm. Yeah, to do like so. Can't put it above that. No. So I'll have, to, I'll have to have a hole like that. senses daylight and one that senses night I'd have to go like 
here with the other hole. problem I have though is because I didn't do two blocks away on this side so how am I gonna Join me as I try to figure out how to fix my lighting. Well, now I'll quit over here. is going on. Why did they all quit for one? Well, this is where it comes in where I had the little bridges that I had in the other one because uh, it's going to work like this. some work on that later but I'll have to add some repeaters in it. they do like 15 blocks but I'm just gonna put them anyway I'm just gonna do the daytime ones now since what the um, since those are on currently, and I'll put in a repeater. Um, 
I'm just kind of winging this, so I may have to change things later, you may notice, but right now, So right now all my daytime ones are on. Now how do I get it? I think I would need a piston and I think I will need a redstone block and I think what I have to do is instead of doing this I have to put oops no we don't want that That's not gonna, because that's just gonna turn them off at night. do I make this book? Let's go look at the one downstairs. We currently only have one set of lights on right now. So it comes down. Now that's powered because the daylight sensor's on. So I'm assuming if you this be shouldn't this be pushing the piston out and shutting the lights off right now yeah because this one both on. Yeah, this piston's not working correctly. I mean, it, it's just keeping them on. Why is that not working? shuts off, we'll turn the other ones back on. So we only want half of them on in the day, and it's daytime right now. All these freaking cats, man. I can't get to my... Will you move? I don't want to hit you. Now 
now none of my lights are on. So let's leave this a daytime sensor. So upstairs. Oops. Not upstairs enough. Switch that. Right, right. That's what we'd want to do. This works the way I intend it to. When it's nighttime, all the lights will come on. It's daytime, half the lights will come on. When it's nighttime, all of them will come on. But they're turning off again. As it gets darker, they're turning off. And it turns the other ones on. So I think what I need to do... So turns to daytime, this piston will shoot out, disconnecting half the lights. <clears throat> but this piston... come back 
I think that actually... to go here because I don't like mingle with that. But I think no matter what now that one's gonna be on. It doesn't even move the piston because it's So either way that one's on. Which I guess is fine. Because I want them on. cover those because of the main night sensors. So now let's see what happens when I make it dawn. As the sun comes up, the one on the right here should disconnect, shutting half of the lights off. acted very strangely, but it worked. Half the lights are off. could easily make it so that the other one shut off at night, but I don't want them to shut off at night. So I don't really know if I need that. The way I have it, 
they're just on all the time so I could just take out this whole sensor and piston assembly and just leave the block of redstone right there to power them consistently the rest really isn't necessary but I think I might just do that. Just close this right up. Alright. So, with that being done, uh, I've been on for an hour. I'm going to go ahead, and I've been on a little over for an hour, actually an hour and 12 minutes, but um, I'm going to go ahead and, and cut this short, um, and I might be back in a little while to work on it some more. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube and friend request me on Facebook. And uh, have a good day.